he's filming for me today. And today is very exciting because we're doing a complete first floor house tour. Um, so if you've been following along these videos, we have completely renovated this first floor of our house, which is super exciting. Oh no, our cat. <laughs> Hold on. She loves to run outside and do things she's not supposed to do. So welcome to our foyer. Um, I'm thinking what will be so no. fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is already going wrong, you guys. Malu, don't do anything crazy for the remainder of the video. Okay, so we have a lot of footage of us like walking through the house when we were renovating it. Obviously photos from like when it was listed online. So I'll include those throughout this video. But in this room, we really just painted. Um, and we re redid the floors on the whole first floor of the house. So that is what you're going to be seeing everywhere. It's like the redone floors. In terms of like what we use, products and stuff, I'll try to mention it along the way, but if I don't remember, I'll just like link it down below. But the floors are a red oak, and my dream was to have them to look like a white oak, which is impossible to do, but I feel like we got pretty close. So we completely sanded down the floors and then restained it with Bona Natural is the name of the stain. But we also completed it with like a matte finish on top and I think that made it look really nice. So I love the floors and we are still decorating. We are like two weeks into this house. So we have a lot of blank walls and I would have loved to fill them up for this video. But I want to take my time and like make sure everything's perfect. So for now, it's a little blank in here, but that's okay. So we did change out light fixtures too. This is actually new to me, but it is an old fixture. And I loved it because I was getting away from black. This is like a bronze finish. And as you'll see, some of the new fixtures in our house are bronze. So I just kind of mimicked that. This is our dining room. I love this room. This is literally like my favorite room in the house. And it's so silly because a lot of people are like, formal dining rooms are out. You know, people don't really use them anymore. And Rudy and I literally sit here to eat a lot of our meals just because we like love the way it looks in here. And even though this is north facing, it gets very good light from that big old bay window right there. So in here, again, blank walls right now. I do intend on hanging things. I'm a minimalist, but I'm not like that minimal, so I do want some things on the walls. But for now, we just have this beautiful Persian rug. I love, love, love the colors in this. It's like beige, blue, green. These are super funky chairs that I think would be a love-hate normally, but I hope that the way I styled them, you guys love them too. So these are definitely like, did you just see the picture? gonna be like a cat compilation by the end of it. So these I think are like an 80s chair. They have like this old kind of chrome look and they're so comfortable. And in our house we love to play like board games and stuff so these chairs are literally perfect for that. And I think it's an also, also another reason why we've been eating in here is because it's like very comfortable. Okay, and then the table is like this very rustic table. This is from Our House, A-R-H-A-U-S, which is literally my favorite brand. If I could buy everything from there, I would, <laughs> but it's very expensive. So all these things are used. Um, I think that's obvious with the chair, but even like the rug and the table, I bought pre-loved and the light fixture is new, so I can link that. This is an Etsy find. It is 100% um, brass. And it's just in like this aged brass color, so it almost looks bronze. And I love that. And then we have my fiddly fig that somehow has been hanging on through the years and is still alive, and I'm very proud of her. So let's go this way. So this used to be a closet. This is going to be a very dramatic before and after. In fact, from here on out, it gets more dramatic because this was all pink colors. And here, this was a closet. This was like the old owner's pantry. So there were two doors here and it was just like a massive pantry. And Rudy and I honestly eat like a lot of fresh food, right babe? And so we don't even need that much pantry space. Um, but we do love our tea and our coffee. So it's always been my dream to have like a tea coffee station. So we knocked down that wall and then reused actually all cabinetry that was from a different wall in the kitchen, put it here, 
We're in this beautiful Zalige tile in weathered white up the back. We do still TBD have some shelves coming in that are going to run here, but we're just waiting on those. And then new countertops, of course. And then the one thing we did reuse from the old owners is these little um, knobs and poles. And I just think that they go really well with like the old world of the tile. So I love that. So this is our appliance center. And then also where I keep like my glassware is in here. And this is like every girl's dream. I love it. Also, what is every girl's dream is a pretty laundry room. This turned out so much more beautiful than I ever thought it would. So before, this was just like a washer dryer and a cabinet up here and didn't have a lot of personality or love poured into this room. This wasn't here at all. This is like our new pantry since we took away that one. And this was all a brainchild of my father-in-law. So he came up with like the concept of this whole shebang right here in terms of like the drawers and then the washer dryer being on either side and then the folding space and the hanging space and I just it's actually so functional and of course so beautiful so I love it in here we use the same backsplash in here this was not intended but we had leftover so we got to use it and I love that so that is the laundry room we also painted in here floors were existing so those were cool we could just keep those okay now we're going this way into the main room of the home and that is the kitchen so welcome to our kitchen this is the most dramatic before and after if you've watched some of my previous videos i have shown this already but of course we have to include it in this video so where i'm standing right now was a wall this was a wall and this was the reason why it was hard to sell rudy on even buying this house because his one of his main requests was like a big open living kitchen space and this house initially did not have that because of this big wall right here um, but it was structurally sound to just take out the wall we didn't even need a beam so the beam you're seeing here was like our initial plan if we had needed that but even though we didn't we just still love the idea of having it as like a decorative piece so at least the top part is decorative and we do have some pipes like running through that one, so it's a little mix. But anyway, so this just adds a lot of rustic charm. I love it. You're obviously seeing our refinished floors in here in all their glory. Um, the island used to be to about like right here. It was maybe half of what it is now, so we extended that because we took out the wall. We have room. Um, seats four, beautifully, which I love. And then every single finish in here is new. We did reuse the cabinets, but we painted them. Um, and then my father-in-law just updated the drawers so they're all soft clothes, which is really nice. And this is obviously the show-stopping wall in the kitchen. Um, my husband, Rudy, could talk more about how this was built and maybe we can go into like detail in another video. But he and my father-in-law custom built this range hood. This is like a Pinterest dream of mine. The whole swoopy side of it, the crown detail on top just blending into the wall. And something I don't know you would like think just looking at this, but it was kind of a risky choice to not paint this the same color as the cabinet color. Instead, we mimicked the wall exactly. So the trim is like a semi-gloss. And then this part is eggshell, just like the wall. So it looks super built in. And I just loved that look. Another design choice was to not make this completely like straight across here. Instead, we kind of had this like do, 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 do shape going on. And that was again, just to highlight the centerpiece of the kitchen, which is the range hood and to leave room for these beautiful sconces. So, in terms of electrical, we had to move around wires to account for the wall being gone and we added these sconces and those were like the main two electrical changes we made. Um, we incorporated these beautiful bronze covers just like on the tile wall and I feel like that really plays into the old world tiles that we used in here. And all these little details are really just coming together. It makes my heart so happy. <laughs> um, also, we did install new appliances. So this used to be an electric stove, but we had to run gas here and got to install this beautiful Bosch st 
stove, another girl's dream. And we have a matching Bosch dishwasher here that was new. And then this fridge just came with the house and it's new and it's nice and I do love it. So that's great. All the lighting in this room is just recessed otherwise. And I like that. I feel like that keeps it very open and nice in here. And that segues us to the breakfast nook. I am waiting on my chandelier in here, so I don't have that to show you guys, but we can just admire the beautiful um, woodworking on the ceiling. And this was like something I wasn't sure we were gonna do. A lot of these extra woodworking projects, we thought mm, it might not be in budget initially, but my father-in-law was like, let's just do it. Let's just do it now. I'll give you guys a good deal. And um, obviously he's family and just wanted to make our dreams come true. So we got the ceiling of my dreams. And this is the only room in the house that has vaulted ceilings. So I just like love that we played off of that and it looks really nice in here. And another long-term dream would be to include like, or add a built-in banquet that comes all the way around. But for now, I think it's beautiful in here either way. Yeah, I think that's it for these two rooms. Let's head over to the living room. So this is the living room. Um, main change in here, obviously that wall is gone. That's literally where Rudy is standing right now. So that makes it very open to the kitchen. Um, refinished the floors, painted the walls like everywhere else. But we also resurfaced this fireplace a little bit. So this molding was here, but it looked very, very different because they had it painted like obviously a different color. But what always bothered me was that they left this middle square part the same color as the wall. You'll see in the before photo, but it just looked like it made the molding look dated. And I actually initially wanted to completely redo the molding because I didn't like the way it looked. But then once we painted it all the same color, I was like, wow, that's, that's gorgeous. I now think the molding is lovely. So... Um, the next thing we did was the stone. So this used to be just porcelain tile going around the fireplace. Um, and now it's this beautiful quartz. So this was like a remnant slab just left over from a project. And we purchased it and ran it across our fireplace and in one other spot in the house, which I will show you later. All this furniture is just stuff we had. Um, the dining room is the only place that we bought new furniture and everything else we just kind of reused from our last home but I think it looks pretty good in here for having like just moved in two weeks ago so I'm proud of us and let's head this way so this is a powder room to the right of me and before we touched it we weren't planning on <laughs> touching it we, we weren't planning on redoing this room but we came across that remnant stone and we just kind of like had all these great ideas to utilize it. So maybe you can film in here without me, but we have a floating vanity going on in there with a beautiful stained shelf below. And then I found this mirror off Facebook Marketplace, which we painted the same color as the wall. And then that light fixture was just like a quick um, find on Facebook Marketplace as well. And yeah, I love it in there. It just has personality now. Um, the one room I kind of brushed over was Rudy's office. I think because again, we really just painted and redid the floors in here, but here is a final look at Rudy's office. If you've been watching my old videos, then you might not have known like which way we set up the desk and stuff. So that's his office there. And you can show like the back piece. I love the way that you styled that babe with like all your favorite things. So yeah, this is Rudy's office. Every time I come in here, I like stand here and then I look at him while he's <laughs> behind the desk and I feel like I'm talking to the boss or something. <laughs> um, stairwell did change as well. So this was kind of the same color as the old floors. The old floors were like a very orangey red oak look. And so we painted this um, newel post, I think they're called, white. And then the banister we stained like a really dark color and that was scary initially for me but i think it turned out really well and then we redid the treads um like the floorboards to match the floor so this down this hallway is our master bedroom and i love it in here if you watch my last video i just bought new bedding so now it feels like very complete um to me 
So in here, we made a mistake initially. I don't even like to talk about it, but um, I think since I'm including old clips, I'll include like the first color this room was, was this terrible teal. I like could not have woken up to that every morning. It would be like, ooh. Um, and then we repainted it to this darker, like grayish, brownish color. That did not work. It was just too dark. It was too gray. It just didn't work in the space. So unfortunately we had to paint it again to this color. This color is Natural Cream by Benjamin Moore. So the bed was obviously the statement of this room. And it's a little controversial, I'm learning, that we put it on this wall of the room because it covers the windows slightly. But let me tell you, my long-term plan, guys, is to hang curtains and the shears will kind of be like a little bigger than the windows and it'll all just make sense once we have curtains in here. But it's just still a work in progress. We kind of just moved in. Um, these were a piece of marketplace find, so were these. I feel like I'm literally saying that about all my furniture. It's pretty crazy, but I guess I just love used old things. Um, we replaced, there used to be a fan there, so now it's a beautiful chandelier. We just added this bench to the end of the bed that fits perfectly. I specifically wanted this type of bench, like a long one, because when we have a lot of people over and are seating like 10-ish people in our formal dining room, we can steal this from here, set it up in the formal dining room, um, and seat way more people, because right now it's just seat six. But yeah, that is the finished bedroom. I love it. I feel like, this is how I feel about the house. I just feel <sighs> happy that the renovation is over. <laughs> okay, we're back in the kitchen now. Um, honestly, that's kind of it for this video. We haven't done much upstairs yet in terms of furnishing. We just painted up there. So we're gonna leave that for a whole nother part two that will probably be in like a year from now. Um, but if you subscribe and you watch my vlogs then you'll see me around the house and you can see more of what we get up to in terms of like adding, decorating, hanging up some artwork because I know I have some pieces I want Ruby to hang. Um, so you can follow along our home decorating journey and just subscribe. Um, we're almost at 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you're new to this video, I don't even think I said my name's Courtney, my husband's name is Rudy, we have two cats, and this is kind of just like a lifestyle and apparently home renovation and decorating channel. So stick around and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>